Welcome to Talk of the Town. This is an official podcast from the town of Pine Top Lakeside to expand upon community topics shared through the Talk of the Town newsletter. Here we will give you more detail, respond to questions, and deliver information about community news and happenings. Hey, it's Rob Hefner here again for the Talk of the Town town of Pine Top Lakeside, hanging out today, and we're, we're going to talk, uh, I don't know, maybe a little uh, dirty jobs job, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've got with me today Dave Smith, he's uh, with the Pine Top Lakeside Sanitary District, did I say Thanks. that correctly? You did, thanks Good. for having me here, Rob. No problem. So I want to first of all give everybody the heads up that, uh, you know, unlike some of the other uh, municipalities around the area, Pine Top Lakeside, the town does not own the sanitary district. The sanitary district is separate from the town operations. Is that correct? That's correct. The sanitary district was actually formed uh, before the town was formed. It was formed probably in the mid 70s, early 70s. Okay. Something like that. Give us an overview of what is a sanitary district. Okay. Sanitary district, uh, again, it was formed in the in mid 70s. And the purpose was to uh, protect the environment. Um, and so their idea was they needed to collect and treat the wastewater. Uh, one reason, the state kind of frowns upon um, failing septic systems. And as a result, I think they put a, um, a limit on how much, how much a building could go on in the area. So it was kind of necessary to uh, build an actual collection system and a wastewater treatment plant. And so um, they, again, organized the district. And it took many years before the actual first treatment plant was actually built. The first treatment plant was built in about 1980, and it handled about a half a million gallons a day. And uh, the growth continued. And so they increased. They had to build a new uh, wastewater plant right by where the original one was at, and they built the second one. It was finished in 1988. The capacity of that plant was uh, 2 million gallons, and that's what we currently are today. We're, we have a capacity of treating 2 million gallons a day. So you, you definitely take the wastewater. Right. Okay. Do you then return water to people as well, or where does that water go back, or where does it go? Yeah, we return it to the environment. There's a place called, it, it's actually on Forest Service property land. It's called Jaquis Marsh. It's We have about 128, 127 acres of uh, wetlands out there, and that's where our, um, we call it effluent, but it's our treated wastewater, goes to the uh, wetlands, and that's its final resting place. Okay. Well, no, because right. then it goes, well, then it goes elsewhere. evaporated into the air, right. rains back down on snow, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's water. That's all, where we, yeah. Some, that's where you get rid of it. <laughs> right. Some wastewater plants will, will uh, discharge into a, a lake or a, or a creek or a stream. Right. But, uh, ours goes to a to marsh. To marsh. Okay. So let's talk about some of the things people need to know when it comes to wastewater wastewater and you know a lot of it's down the sink and then there's things like that but then there's there's the 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 inevitable um like you say you take crap from people is that what you said yeah that's our job we take crap from people uh, <laughs> what should you know about that and what should you know that you shouldn't do let's put it that way well i think if people understood the the, the process it's a biological process and so we basically we grow microorganisms and those organisms will eat the raw sewage contains still contains food it's food that you didn't want so you flushed it and it came down to us and so our responsibility is to treat it so it doesn't pollute the environment if you understand it's a biological process Process, there are certain things you could throw a golf ball down the toilet, but it's not going to be consumed by our mi microorganisms. No. So if you look at it that way, from the time the water hits our gate till the time it's processed, it's only 48 hours. A lot of things that say are flushable on containers. Mm hmm. That's true. You can flush rocks. You can flush a lot of things. I'm not encouraging that, by the way. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of things that are flushable. It doesn't mean you shouldn't. Every bathroom has a trash can. We would rather you put things that uh, are not organic. Um, uh, the simple way is they call it the three piece, pee, poop, and paper. Yeah. Um, meaning toilet paper. Uh, those are really the acceptable things to put down the toilet. Anything else, uh, even grease, causes problems down the line. The flushable wipes, it's real popular. Yeah, that creates dude wipes, which is a yeah. trademark, but dude wipes, yeah, yeah. It, don't, don't. I know they say flushable, but. Oh, they are. They're yeah. not, they're not yeah. uh, misleading you, but the problem is that they don't decompose. They get caught up in our pumps. Yeah. And we have like 20 lift stations throughout the area and those wipes, we've had rags, just you name it, people have flushed it. Especially during COVID, we had a real, Oof. Um, because of the shortage of toilet paper. Oh. People using anything they could yeah. get their hands on. So These are things you don't want to see in the marsh, folks. No, okay. you don't. <laughs> so 
we, we do have the equipment to remove it uh, at the beginning of our treatment process, right. but it creates problems with our pumps and mechanical equipment. So those things, uh, if you don't eat it, don't flush it. That's kind of the easy way. If you've ever used the wrong kind of toilet paper mm -hmm. in your RV, okay, you know exactly what the issue of the wrong kind of thing that doesn't degrade properly ends up with. Yeah. So if you've ever had that experience, I'm sure you're never going to put some of these things down the toilet. Right. Yeah. So awesome. it's, uh, you know, you think of septic tanks too. People who have septic tanks are a lot more cautious about what they put down their right. toilet. And you have to be the same way because that's a biological process, so are we. And so it's important just to think long term about what you're putting down the toilet. Awesome. Anything else you want people to know about the Pine Top Lakeside Sanitary District? Well, we're a small organization. We're uh, right now we're going through our budgeting process and we do this every year. We haven't raised our rates for many years. I think it's been six or seven years. Uh, you know, you figure $20 a month is a pretty good deal for um, being able to have our environment protected. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, we have a great organization. I think the people that uh, work at the district, they're kind of under the scene or behind the scene, but their responsibility is to just keep things flowing the right way and, and keep things maintained so we don't create an environmental catastrophe. Yeah. Um, we have an elected board of directors and they're a really good group. There's five of them. They're really supportive of, of what we need to do at the district. I think they have kind of a long-term vision of what we need to do for the area because we are part of the community and and it's important for us to be seen as part of the community so if you never think about the process when you flush a toilet now just think about it for a second and realize there's a lot of work that happens well it is it's uh you know you're talking from far ends you know we're down in lakeside off of hanson lane and so we're collecting raw sewage from all the way from the country club to starlight uh, starlight ridge area well thank you very much sure uh, appreciate your time today and uh, once here. again that was uh, dave smith with the pine top lakeside sanitary district i'm rob hepner here for the town of pine top lakeside talk of the town <laughs>